Yep. I'm recording. Uh, hi guys, Minerva here. Uh, just wanted to come on and uh, show you what I'm working on, which are some cactuses and succulents that I started putting together. And uh, today I'm going to show you how I put together some of them. I have. Uh, let me show you these cuts I made over here. I cut them with the uh, Cricut. They're cactuses and succulents, I believe. I don't remember if I searched for a succulent. I think they're all cactuses. Well, no, this is a succulent. I'll show you in a minute. So I'm going to put the camera down. Some of you have uh, crickets, new crickets, and maybe, I don't know. I thought I'd share with you how I made them in case you want to try. So I'm going to put the camera down. And that's as far as it will go. So what I'm doing right now is, well, let me show you first. This is a succulent. I think it looks pretty real. I, I used uh, all the different types of greens that I, that I had, cardstock. I was looking for one that it was, damn, I forget what they call that. Uh, it was like a, that had different shades. I forgot what it's called, but I can't find that pad. Anyway, this is a succulent. And I uh, painted the tips with a marker, a dark green marker. And this is one of those round cactuses. It's it's cut like this. This is one side. It's cut. It's cut the the dark green is one cut, and then this is the other cut. So then you put them together in the fold there. For a while there, I wasn't sure what I was doing, but I guess this is the way to do it. Look, see how it has the spines and everything? I might darken them a little bit with this. Uh, I'm using peeled paint, distress oxide ink. And I might go over it with a Q-tip. I'm using the art glitter glue. Oh, this is really bright, isn't it? And I don't have the desk light on. This camera captures the light. And this is another little one. I think it's a succulent. I'm not sure. So what I'm doing is I'm using a Q-tip to darken the edges. Should have done this before I put it together, but <clears throat> I didn't think of it. So I do one side first and then I do the other because I have to push down one of the petals. Anyway, I got a clay, uh, you know, one of those uh, clay pot trays, the ones you use to put the pots uh, uh, on, and uh, I'm going to use that. I have some little rocks that I'm going to use, and I'm going to make a little cactus garden or, you know, display. <coughs> Wish they had, um, because I saw some videos a while back where they were buying these uh, little figures, figurines, um, fairies and stuff, miniatures. But we don't have a dollar store here that sells that kind of stuff. Because I would like to put some miniature. Maybe I have something I can use. This color works, works. <laughs> this color works really good. <clears throat> so that's a little flower. It might be a succulent, or it might be a flower for one of the cactuses. I don't know. So I'll have to check the, the the pictures to see. Let's see how it looks on this. Yeah. They look nice. 
Although my thing is falling apart. So that's an idea. You can use a Q-tip. And I said I'm using peel paint. That's the only green. I do have maybe some other ink that is darker. So I'm going to... Oh, what I did was I went to... Um, Cricut Design Space. No, I hit new project and uh, images, and I searched on the upper right corner. I searched for uh, cactuses, and then I uh, that just shows a couple that I like. Like this is a it, it, and it worked real good. I think I cut them yesterday or a day before now because yesterday I had to go out. Hubby and I had to make some. You know, do some errands, and uh, I didn't work on them yesterday. But the cricket behaved really good. It made this, these cuts, and see those slits? It made those slits, uh, you know, and I had no problem. I just went ahead and cut them as they were. I didn't change the size. So this has a score mark on the center. So I'm just going to try to with my nail just make the you know start to fold so because I saw a die that you know I don't remember her name but <clears throat> it's a die for for succulents and cactuses and I saw this project a lady made and uh, but the die was almost $16, and I decided to check first on Cricut Design Space to see if they had any, and I found these. This one looks very similar to the one that she cut, and the succulent also. I did buy a pad, though, that have the, has, it has the colors that would look nice. Something about the name. The name has to do with succulents, I believe. So I'm just going to fold this in the center. This cactus has, I don't know why it has those. <coughs> so I do have another one. There's a couple of them that have these ridges, and I'm not sure. So I don't think I'm supposed to put anything in there. No, this is another cactus. So I'm just going to... I guess you have to just join these like I did the other one. So I'm going to go ahead and use my art glitter glue, which is really good for this. It grabs fast, it dries clear, and you have this fine point. Let me see, am I at? It has this very fine point. that so I'm just going to glue together a couple of these and then I will so you just have to glue it and just let it set a little bit Okay, guys, so here's my succulent and cactus dish. There's a succulent here and here, and these are little cactuses. I think this is aloe vera, I'm not sure, saguaro, and the round cactus. Isn't that cute? I think it looks cute. On my way down to the basement to get the little rocks. 
I found this little branch with some moss on it. So I'm going oh, oh, I didn't want to cut it there. I'm just going to put it here. I wanted a little bit of a stem just to, you know, stick it in there. So here's some more. I should be using my scissors for this. Where are my blue ones? Oh, oh and I figured out the long, the cuts with the long strips. They were supposed to go over a uh, darker color. So I fixed that. And. Maybe I'll put this here for now. <clears throat> Forgot to turn on my glue gun. So I did want to put... I don't know, a little flower here. Maybe it's too little, I'm not sure. That would look nice. That little spine there won't let me, but I think I'll use this one. I prefer this one. I'm just going to... Just kind of just sit it there. And what else? What else? Now right here, these uh, succulents they they grow a long stem, and from that stem they have tiny little uh, flowers. Oh, these little tiny. Ones. I hate that they started riding horses around here. Hot glue would be better. There. Just going to leave that little flower there. It's right there. So that's all I'm going to do right now. Later I'll turn my hot glue gun and I'll turn it on and I don't know. Maybe glue them to the rock so they stay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I should we do the other side? I gotta go now, so I'll just leave it like that. It looks kind of cute. I like it. We'll turn it around. This will probably be the front. Right there. And this side here will probably be the front. So, guys, I hope you like this project and you try it but if you don't want to cut or can't cut the cactuses or the succulents it's an idea if you want to make a real nice little succulent garden 
They're kind of fun. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed this project and idea, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.